We hope you enjoyed the Rock Cycle Lab. Let's take a closer look at some of the concepts that were covered. You now know the rock cycle goes through a series of changes that occur in the inner and outer surfaces of our planet. The rock cycle is focused on the formation of the three main types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. All three types of rocks are connected to one another through the rock cycle. We'll start with igneous rock. Igneous rock is formed by the cooling of magma. Once the rock has been formed, there are multiple processes the rock can undergo depending on its environment. The rock can be weathered down to form sediments, the rock can undergo effects of heat and pressure, or the rock can be melted down again and become magma. If the rock is weathered down to sediment, eventually it will be compacted and cemented to form sedimentary rock. All three types of rock can be weathered down to sediment, so sedimentary rocks are very common. From there, the rocks can either get re-weathered down to sediment or it can undergo heat and pressure to become metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks are formed far beneath the Earth's surface under extreme heat and pressure. From here, metamorphic rock can either be weathered down into sediment again, or it can melt into magma and the cycle starts all over again. Each type of rock is very different and undergoes different processes to form. The igneous rock's appearance varies depending on the minerals that are contained in the magma when it cools. Sedimentary rock has very distinct characteristics that make it easy to spot. It has clearly defined layers that you can see where the new rock has been deposited, compacted, and cemented. Metamorphic rock also varies greatly in appearance depending on the minerals in the rocks when they undergo heat and pressure. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped you understand the processes that rocks undergo and how they form. Next time you find a rock, see if you can identify it as igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic.